Recently on YouTube, I've been seeing a lot of guys and girls uh, who are into cars and into diagnostics have pressure pulse sensors. So the one video in particular that caught my attention was the, the Irishman Dave Sterling on his channel. So just type in Dave and S-T-E-R-L. So he had bought a pressure pulse sensor or first look sensor. So what the idea is, it measures a uh, pressure pulses either in the exhaust or in the inlet manifold. So I was going to purchase one of them, uh, I think it was from Autodytex, but they're all sold out, and anyway I tried was all sold out. So I had a bit of brainstorm and uh, a bit of rummage through my toolbox, and lo and behold, I found this from years ago. Now I had used it as a little buzzer, it, just, it, gives, it gets 12 volts, and it's just, uh, I was using it for wiring checks, continuity checks, to see if current was flowing. So, so I decided, uh, I thought to myself, well that's a piezo, I can adapt that and, and use that for a, an exhaust pulse sensor or an intake manifold sensor, and indeed it works fine, so I got, there you go, it says it takes 12 volts, so I got this, believe it or not, from Tandy in the UK, now I can't remember when they shut, but this must be a fair age, or maybe I'm wrong, maybe I got it at Maplin, so anyway, it's been in my toolbox for a long while, so I got that, you can see it's all, thing came like that, and I've got a bit of hose pipe here, and all I've done with it, as I'll show you in the car, just take that, put it in there, give it a, uh, two leads from your scope, put this bit up the exhaust, and use a, a clamp to hold in the exhaust, and as they say, Bob's your uncle, the thing works perfectly fine, so I thought the quickest way to do this is to get the little, uh, the Varus out, and I'll show you a trace on that, and then I'll show you a desktop recording on using the picoscope. And I must say, the waveform looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, but this is the, the quickest way, to, first of all, to see a, a good waveform. Now, this is a bit like doing a compression test. There's no point putting a sink in if the signal looks fine. So we'll just do it with the two-channel scope, because we couldn't actually... We only can do it with one channel is because this this needs, I think, what they call a floating ground. If anybody can help me, if there's another way of doing that with the advantage, you can tell me, but I'm sure eh, with a little picoscope that I've got there, it's got floating grounds. So I'll let you see the waveform anyway. There's Cheers. my setup. I've got it clamped in the exhaust. Pipe's a wee bit long, but no matter. There's the sensor there. Eh, the red, the red and black lead. And going up to a little Vantage Pro here. There we go, there's the screen set up. Let's see what that looks like. There you go, you can see that the pulses start and this one's positive pressure is at the top is when it, the pulses are coming out of the exhaust and you can see when it started they were a wee bit dippy don't know how that does that but you can see that's a good looking trace that so it goes when the pulse comes out of the ex exhaust it goes positive first and then it goes negative so you can see if there's absolutely no misfires in this car the thing is good i'll show you i'll give you a little rave The other thing I was going to say about this car is, this is a three-cylinder car. So I'll show you in the, the laptop how you work out a uh, cylinder one sink and what's compression, stroke and everything else. So as you can see, that works perfectly well. So what I've done this time, I've disconnected all the injectors, so I'm going to show you just a cranking waveform, see what that looks like. And what I'll do is I'll put my foot to the floor. There we go. And I'll see that what that looks like in the edit.